Take a dim of food, it's a motto, you know, Mary. Nice, eh? Hey, it's tough, take a jet. Hey, Mr. Mrs. Byam reported. Yeah, so like a, this is so nice. I'm just telling you guys, I'm enjoying the fireplace. Just like Umusha. Must wear a boy. And Yes. So, hi, Franka. Who cut it? Me, you. That is long related that you can meet his in it. So I um I'm you can't see me guys because I'm in the dark. I hope you can hear me well, but if you can hear me, please just press a like so I can go on with what I wanted to say. It's just gonna be a very short video. So I want to say something very important about the video that I made yesterday. Uh unfortunately the videos were three of them. So it's like um they were uh, they were cutting off each time I had to go back and start a new video again. So I managed to make three videos. Hey, Yorin, who had it? Franca, Ingrid, and of course Daphne, um, and Sesu Mubaya, and uh, Mr. Moyo. So I'm waiting for you guys to respond, and after you responded, I'll go on. When you can hear me, please just let uh, press something, a like. If you can't hear me, then um, press an angry face. Because one day I made a video and I were, people could not hear me, so I went on talking. And uh, yeah. Yeah, the first heart is coming in. I don't know who does that. So yesterday it was about, um, we just do the fireplace today and then we talk together without my face. Maybe it's a good idea because you guys are not responding anyway, so I won't show my face. So fair enough. blowing some fire yes so yesterday i made a video it was nice uh, at the same time a bit confronting for so many but for all of us i think because uh, so far we were talking about an african dead why they are missing a connection between themselves and their children and why is it that the connection fail and uh, so this, uh, to summarize it all we came up with um, an African dad that's, that grew, yeah, who grew up with a, a culture that uh, does not give him a chance to be with his pregnant wife or to be with his child or to be around the birth moment when the wife is giving birth. So I think um, that is some, something about our culture in Africa that maybe could be the reason why the attachment between the, the father and the children may be a little bit disturbed. The other part of us, um, I suppose an African dad has been always seen as, an, as a poor African child and they come to Western countries and they have to wait for some working permit and they, then they go to work much later uh, their life starts much later and it's going to create a lot of inferiority. So, um, if you guys can see me, that's all right. If you can't see me, it's also okay because I'm in the dark. Can you see that? So, so I just thought I can give you some light.
Ah, Ingrid, you are, you are curious about what I have. Are you, maybe your interest will be there very much. And um, I just wanted to let you know that I will try to uh, pick up this video tomorrow. And uh, today it was my uh, son's birthday. That's why we are sitting around the fire now. So um, at least to talk about the day, drink a cup of tea and so but there was a live video that i had planned to do today but i had forgotten that in the evening we were probably going to um to go on with the celebration so i i decided to cancel the video and we'll take it on tomorrow and saturday so i just made this video to summarize a little bit about the african dead and to let you know that i made videos yesterday so you have a, you've got a lot of work to do. If you go down to my um, on my page, you will see that I made a video yesterday, and it's three times. In these three videos, I'm dancing as well. So you will see a very important message about an African dad, why an African father fails to connect with his children, and the attachment is disturbed by a few things that we need to correct as Africans, that we need to correct as Western people as well. So to be able to have, to be able to, to, to help them to connect with their children, I think that's a beginning of a better future. And when I say this, I'm not saying a European father or a Western father is better than an African father. So do not hear me wrong here. Um, the idea is you listen uh, when you we listen using empathy and if you're an African dad this is for your own benefit as well and if you're an African mother it's also for your own benefit because so far we kind of point one another yes yeah, so there are three of them there are three of them so you really need to watch them I think it's important for um for for you guys to watch if you can do that i would really i would really be grateful so we can continue with the video yes um so i would like to continue with the video but i can only continue when you have watched the the last three videos that i made yesterday night and i've worked hard on those videos so my question is if you guys can go on and watch them if you are an African mom, if you are a Western mom, a Western dad, a Western uh, parent, and especially an African parent, an African dad, that we're talking about them. So it's for their own benefit, for our own benefit, for our children's benefit in the future. So, so that's the reason why I'm telling you now to go and watch those videos and please respond and let me know where you want to, to where you have a question if you want to know or about a few things then i can answer you so we can continue uh, today i've already received a few uh, pictures and videos from uh, a, a few fathers when they were playing with their own children and they were actually proving that uh, there are a lot of uh, fathers trying to play around with their children uh, connecting and of course, some are asking about uh, how to carry uh, the babies and the reason why the science behind carrying children. So, which is which means it's not only meant for women; it's meant for dads as well, for the fathers. And I think um, if we take our African culture and we combine it with the Western culture, you will see that uh, we will probably have uh, a better future when it comes to connection between a dad and a daughter and a son. So, I am going to cut the video and I hope you guys are going to find the videos, the last videos I made yesterday and there are three of them yeah, because I was cut off each time. But then the three of them have different messages but the same topic 
about why an African dad is. Yes. So thank you so much. Have a nice evening. Enjoy yourselves. And um, we will talk tomorrow and Saturday as well. Uh, you guys cannot see me, of course. So um, take good care of yourselves. I hope you were hearing me. And um, everyone who came in later, so you probably have heard what I said. And um, that you can watch the video that I made yesterday. So you can respond there. There were a lot of people responding, uh, talking already about it together. And we received uh, a few videos uh, of fathers and their children playing around, connecting. And they need to know more about what it is to connect with their own families, with their, with their, with their wives. So to create a, a long-term relationships in the future, and so to avoid uh, this labeling of uh, African parents, this labeling of African fathers in particular, and African uh, men that they are violent, that they cheat on their wives, that they uh, there's so much that is said about black men in the world, and I'm tired of that. So we need to bring out a lot of positive things. And if they are a lot of fathers that need to be, to be guided for the future, then it's our work right now to do so. So if you are a father who knows what I'm talking about, and you know that you can guide others, and you can show others what you do with your own children, with your own toddlers, with your own babies, please show, share with us. So we can always try to share examples to the young fathers, of course. You know, young fathers that are losing their families, young fathers that are not allowed to see their babies, their children, that are you not, know, their children are growing up without fathers. So we need to help those people. And it's our duty as Africans to help one another. Ubuntu, Abantu, we have to love one another and it's important. So thank you so much. And, uh, my name is Melissa Buding Vandira Mshaneta and uh, Tete Mucha from the Netherlands. So let me go on sitting in the garden and uh, enjoying the fireplace. Bye bye guys. Take good care.